Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by Dewey's Arts. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and today we'll be looking at a very underrated add-on in my own opinion um, which is the Hennet add-on. So you can find this add-on on the internet for free. Um, so the author is Jet Otto. Um, <laughs> Jet Otto, I, I'm sorry. Jet Jackson. I, wait, let me check that. Um, so preference Adam Hennex so author yeah right Jackson sorry so it's the add-on is Hennet so if you google blender add-on Hennet um, it will come out so you can download it for free and when you set when you're set up then you go to go so to access this add-on um, you need to create object because it's a particle system and it works with objects um, so when you go into your particle system, then you can see the hairnet interface. It looks pretty basic, basic, sorry, um, but it comes with some set of rules, which if you follow, then you're good and you will enjoy the powers of the hairnet system. Um, so let's get started. So as you can see, as I said earlier, it has a very simple and straight to the point interface. So today we'll be skipping the emit from self because that's a bit unstable and we'll be skipping the add hair from fibers um, that's because um, you need um, fiber mesh from ZBrush so and for this I was not able to like create a good looking hair from ZBrush uh, probably soon in the nearest future we do a tutorial on that but it's pretty basic uh, so we'll just be covering add hair from sheet and add hair from curve, curve sorry okay um so let's quickly start with the add hair from sheet so to do that um just pretty basic you add a plane so um, before i continue let me explain what sheet in this sheet in this uh context me so this plane is considered a sheet okay this tri um cylinder isn't considered a sheet okay um if I was to delete this, to the two caps and use V to tear, rip it apart, now it's considered a sheet. Okay, so any enclosed face is not a sheet, but any open face is. So I hope that makes sense. Um, so let's just create a quick example with this. So this is a nice geometry um, which with the current blender system is um, impossible to get this kind of artistic um, look because <laughs> um, blender just deals with this blender particle um, grooming system is pretty awesome but when you want to get like like creating braids looks it's, it's quite difficult to get um, the look um, but with this system it's quite easy which I'll be showing you by the end of the tutorial so to make this into a hair so let's just apply this um okay so first of all you have to uh, make the upgrading that's the hair, add hair from sheet know the the edge loops that it should follow so right now it doesn't know what it's follow it's just seeing a plane and it will give you an error telling you that you need to mark seams so if for in this situation that we want our hair to go this direction um, the same will be creating is the same um, we'll be marking this as same okay but if we want our hair to go this direction then we'll be marking this as same okay I hope I make any I, I hope I'm making sense um, so uh, since we want this direction then we'll be selecting the same this edge is sorry let's select it good okay and um, then control E maxim so we are good to go so it's a good um principle to always apply your rotation and scale and center your origin 
to the geometries in any simulation or modification so that you're working with the accurate scale and you don't confuse the upgrading. Uh, so if I was to select the guide sheet and she selects the emitter object and click add hair from sheet so we get the hair quickly and if I was to increase the step so we get this so we already have the hair but right now it's not sitting in the right location so let's make it do that so to do that you select your emitter object and click cursor to select it she selects the guide object and origin to cursor so if I was to rotate this it's rotated from this Sorry, the origin has shifted to this the cursor area. So then we can redo what we did earlier. That's select the guide object, should select the emitter object, and add hair from sheet. And if we increase this, that's the step size. Then we have our system hair system. Then we can hide this. Okay, so that's basically how it works. So I will tell you how to fix this. Um, if I was to rotate this, um, we lose all our hair system. So, right now, it, uh, we just you can name your hair system now. Um, then, if you want it to stick, you have to go into your particle edit mode. Hold, uh, just click on any part of the object, and you're good to go. So now you can move this all around. Okay. So how do you fix this gaps here? So the reason for this is because the this hair system is using the child simple upgrading. So if I was to click on interpolated, um, interpolated doesn't work with um, custom hair system. It's it's like following real hair rules, I think. But for the simple, you can customize the position of the ch child particle based on the individual guideline guide path so um, for you to have like interpolated like you don't have this on not you want to avoid this kind of gaps you have to assist the system to do that so how do you assist the system so just delete this again sorry so right now you, you see it's created just three hair based on the birth, um, edges we provided so we need to add more edges okay so if we were to run the algorithm again so this time that is fixed okay so that's basically that and you can also um, manipulate the size of this by increasing the radius so it's looking smaller you can increase it to 0.6 uh, you can point one was to the default also as you can see the roundness makes it look more round <laughs> obvious <laughs> and you can play with the state okay um, so that, that's basically um, how to use the sheet so let's give another um, situation uh, another let's create another scenario um, so in addition you can also duplicate this so it's still one object right and let's click here from hair sheet It's gonna take longer because it's more geometry. Okay, so it's done. Um, just increase your step and voila, that's your stuff. How cool is this? Um, so what is the rule behind this? As I said earlier, you need to follow rules. 
So it's quite easy. It's not like um, cut your. Um, you must sacrifice your DC ramps. <laughs> what am I saying? Um, so the rule is all object, all meshes inside here must have the same edge. Must have the same edge length. For example, if I was to just add extra edge loop here. I was to add extra edge loop here, right? And run this uh, simulation again. It'll take a while. Okay, so we have an error message saying mesh guides have different lengths so the reason for that is because of this extra edge loop so you can't be short or you can't be um, excess uh, you, can, you must not you must be equal everywhere um, so, and that's the basic um, rule either either in the sheets creation um, sheets guide or even the curve guide hair guide so that's basically that. Um, if you follow that, you're good to go. So we'll be looking at the next one, which is um, hair from curve. Um, so we need to create a curve. So the way I create my curve is usually through vertices. I add single vertices and just. So, just add subdivision, place it here. So, if to convert a vert or a mesh to a curve, is con alt C, curve for mesh. So, we have a curve now. And you can also play with the curve type, but this part type is okay for this. And same drills, same drill. Cursor uh, to selected. Origin to 3D cursor. Uh, sorry, wrong one. FM call. So, voila. So, you have it. That's. Right. Like I said, it's really easy. So, same thing applies for it if you were to be one shot and run this. So, you have mesh guide, have different lengths. So, yeah. You have to be equal. Let's subdivide this and run this. So as you can see, was also having that um, gap in space. So you have, to, if you want your, if you want to have volume, you have to put it um, together. Just move this. Sorry, move this closer. So the more closer the, it is, the more the object will treat in like one volume. So or something like this to just treat them like two different volumes. So if I run this again, as you can see, it's treating like two different um, strand emitted. So that's basically that. So now let's go into um, the example for today which is creating this braid so I've created the braid and I've gone ahead and done everything as I said earlier with the principle of using a cylinder and how to turn a cylinder into a sheet which is basically just ripping up an edge so it's open and also the principle about the creating edge um, edge what is that uh, seams to be able to mark the to be able to direct the algorithm on what on what loop to follow, um, so that's basically that same thing I did. And if I was to select this emitter object, and so I've already set the origin with the emitter object from sheet. Uh, so you have created that and. So you should do that. Uh, don't touch anything. Just um, you can play with this fine step size. Okay.
I'm gonna change the render type to the head so you can see it clearly. So yeah, we have our braid. Uh, also, I want uh, it's still big for what I want. I want to reduce it to 0.6, so it's more visible because if we add more children particle, um, let's increase that a bit. 0.8. Okay, so it's looking okay. So it could trick for enhancing the reality of your mesh of your hair, but right now it's looking good, but it doesn't look like a real hair. So let's bump up the realis realism. So just some quick um, fix here. So you'll find this random size and threshold. So I want to set this random. So I'll just tell you what it does individually. So if I was to click on random, I think I'll reduce this so we get a quick preview. So if I was to click on random, so it's randomized the hair. You may ask what's the use of this, right? So if I was to click on size like 0.4, so it makes it more it like it uh, it looks like it added more subdivision. So but the threshold, so so you are reducing the range. So if I go 0.83, so it's there but not so much. So I increase the random, it's like the intensity um 0.5 just to break up the perfection that's that uh, oh so I think that's a cool looking break so that's basically that so I hope this tutorial was helpful um, stay tuned if you want to learn more about this or you can just post questions on hairstyles I can try out for you guys or any tutorial in short if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see some more for me don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications when i post new stuff so bye bye for now see you next time